I've seen people comparing how much Dorothy Dandridge looks like Doja Cat, and some people say I look like Doja Cat. Girl, so. shut up! But while we're on the subject, let me introduce you to the iconic performer, Dorothy Dandridge. Born to another actress, Dorothy was pushed into show business at a very young age. She traveled in a dance act with her sister all over the country, but soon she pulled a Beyonce and went solo and started performing in more venues by herself. And people loved her. They were so attracted to her and her energy, but most of the time whenever she would perform at venues, use or restaurants she wouldn't even be allowed to eat or drink because of segregation oh wait what a night do you mind if i can get a drink no negro no how you gonna ask me to perform but i can't get a drink white man dorothy continued to capture audiences in many iconic films one of the most iconic ones was carmen which is a film adaption of an opera and she brought so much energy to this role that she became the first black woman to be nominated for an academy award now don't go yet but this is where the bullshit comes in Although Dorothy was a star, the industry of Hollywood and her personal life gave her struggle. She had a daughter, but she suffered brain damage and she had a husband who was a womanizer and eventually left the family. And after Carmen, Hollywood took a look at Dorothy's black skin and only wanted to cast her in very demeaning roles. And Dorothy rarely accepted them. Dorothy ended up passing away from drug overdose at 42 years old, but this does not take away from the fact that she heavily influenced Hollywood. Dorothy recognized that she was opening doors for black women to shine. And shine, she did.